outer orange. Welcome back, y'all. So I am here today to talk, I kind of talk about the reveals. I normally stream these and I just couldn't. It was just a really weird hour and I just was a little tired. So I decided why not just make a video on it instead of just normally streaming it like I normally do. Well, you know, what's the difference, right? It's just, you know, Twitch versus YouTube. We are here to discuss some of the reveals. I really want to kind of break these down with you, kind of go through them. And these are specifically the ones that we got on Monday or, you know, whatever time frame it is for you. I really want to break it down with y'all because we got a lot of stuff to go over. So let's go ahead and do it. We're going to start here. So we are getting some reprints, uh, finally, thank goodness. We're getting some, these are triple R reprints. They're all pretty good reprints with the exception of probably the Keter one and maybe the Orpheus one, uh, uh, the Braingate one. Those could have been a little bit better, but I think it's a step in the right direction. We got the Trickman reprint, which is very good. The Swirl reprint, the Inlet input reprint, which are all very expensive cards. Uh, I will say the Keter and the Braingate one are a little bit less useful. And I definitely think like something of Boba Mine would have been a way more better fit, especially with the monster deck dropping in the, in the upcoming sets and, you know, having needing access to the monster mutant stuff cards and you know it just would have made a lot more sense in my eyes but you know alas here we are right 2023 we get we get the boy the i can't remember this card's name is a like cardinal something uh retire three tokens it like gets a crit or something and power for everything retired i don't know and then we got the Keter one i heard a lot of people complain about this one too that it was pretty rough but you know it is what it is we we got what we got you know uh it uh, I, I can't, you know, we don't control, you know, what they choose to reprint, even if they're weird ones, but maybe there's some kind of future intact, maybe for the Brandgate one and the Keter one, there might be some cards in the future that'll make these work. It would be nice. I own Brandgate one. It would be nice to actually use that card. I've yet to sleeve that card because it's just kind of not very good right now, but there might be a future where it is good. Who knows? Maybe Orphus will get a new effect or something that restands uh, that, that kind of rear guard. And that's really high with Kurt on it for a restand, right? So yeah, we don't know yet. We'll see. But that's the reprints. This is a step in the right direction in terms of reprints we really really needed these i know uh, on jp side people have been asking for reprints english has definitely been asking for reprints so this is this is nice to have it will at least help with the prices a little bit i don't think it'll help it too much as weird as it sounds i think we need more than justice i really think we need a change in the way the cases work i just recently i'm not a case opener i've opened one case in my entire life and it's actually the lyrical set one case because of perfect cards and ot's for both for premium and for, sta and for standard i just did that because that just made the most sense financially for me so with that being said i'm not a big case opener however i recently found out that uh yeah the ratios are kind of bad for the more recent ones. I don't really even know what's going on. I guess I'm not a big person to know like the ratios and all that stuff. But when I when I was looking at some people open up their cases, they had like like a couple, you know, you know, like just very little. It was just very little. It was like kind of a little bit of distribution problem with that. And I definitely think that needs to be resolved. I know that there's also, you know, like some some issues with like shops and stuff like that. I do hope that maybe we'll get more buyers and buyers and sellers again, uh, kind of help distribute, uh, kind of help open that product some more because I do feel like Cardbright is doing pretty well in terms of sales. And I feel like, you know, this could just help it a little bit more, but we'll have to see. Well, well hopefully this gets fixed. Someone at my locals recently has been interested in Cardbright Vanguard. And when he starts asking about the prices, I just have to, you know, I have to be honest with him, you know, <laughs> to feel like, Kill it. it's kind of expensive but i hate the fact that i have to do that like i really want to introduce him to the game and he wants to play the game but when i have to tell him that most decks are you know in that 300 dollars mark it's like it's pretty rough that's what we got the the bang dream collab cards are coming in set 10 it'll be 35 cards plus some perils now i really like this so the reason why i really like this is because this makes triggers and i don't know what else they'll do maybe they'll do perfect cards too who knows it looks like they're gonna be like generic i assume they're gonna be generic where like any nation can pick them up but because obviously that's how they are I, I hope it's not a thing where it's just lyrical i'm assuming it's not going to be i assume it's gonna be for all nations but this is good it's another way another pretty much quote unquote reprint it's a form of a reprint essentially if you run these you can play them you can do your thing with them it's great uh you don't need to like seek out old triggers as much because these will also be a way you can do that with and i think this like kind of kind of like partial collab set is better i think this is better than honestly dropping a, a, a whole bang dream set in my opinion like like how they did with the v1 though that one had amazing cards and a very well set probably one of the best sets that in v in general just because of how well designed those decks were however at the same time you know they just don't i don't think they sell as well i think the one japan japan did really wanted but really well but then in english we got too late and then there was like this reboot and all this kind of stuff happened and it kind of struggled a little bit whereas this is kind of it's not in your face but it's there you can choose it and also as a form of a reprint like if they do like perfect guards on top of this and maybe over triggers that'd be like amazing just like banging over triggers uh that'd be so cool in my opinion i think stuff like this would be really cool i would love to see more of this kind of stuff uh like or or you know how we have the hall life stuff one thing i really liked that zero did was the stride hall life stuff it's a generic stride that you can throw to any deck and it just works and you can just do all 
this fun stuff, create like casual decks, create competitive decks. The fact that you have the option to do either or, and it works either way, which is really cool and just really exciting. And it also created a budget approach for people going into like something like, like, uh, like, like zero, because you know, when you get into zero, there's just so many cards, right? It's kind of hard to catch up, but then you have these free generic strides that are dropping. You can easily put those in while also playing the game. And it just makes it so much easier. And for people in real life, you know, having that option to use those kind of strides into premium would make it so much easier for people to play. They don't have to instantly buy into a specific clan and it just makes it so much easier. But hopefully we see more of this stuff. I think it's great. We also got more reprints because we clearly don't have enough reprints. We need more, which is fair. We do need more. So all the triggers are getting reprinted again for the third time. Now this would be the third time, if I'm not mistaken. These are all the fronts, crits, and draws getting reprinted for each uh, main nation. So this doesn't include lyrical. Uh, kind of unfortunate, but it's okay. I, lyrical, I don't know how, how bad lyrical is right now, but you know, set two is actually pretty cheap for a bit and then it got really expensive for the staples. So I don't know what they're going to do about lyrical. We haven't had much word about lyrical in general. I don't know what's going on with lyrical right now. I don't know. I, we had set four hasn't been announced. And, and, you know, there's supposed to be two sets at a time. So we'll have to see sort of where that goes and kind of how that happens. But regardless, main nations did get all another reprint set, which is great because, you know, these cards are really useful. You kind of need them, especially if you're a new player or not. You, you need these triggers. Now, here's an interesting one. I'm really excited about this. So the Festival Booster 2023 is dropping and it's a pre-sale dropping for specifically Divengasai. And then the full release is on May 12th for Japan. So this is actually really exciting. So one thing I, I actually speculated this yesterday what in the world this could be and there could be like multiple approaches to this and i really hope it's the approach i'm thinking it is because obviously right now we don't have too much obviously if you look at these these are cray elementals they're they're not nation they're not nation specific they're not clan specific they're cray elemental specific from the looks of them that's what they look like right what is a cray elemental for those of you guys that may not know they're pretty much the the open-ended like nation slash clan you can put these into any deck and usually that's how they work they go into any deck that you want them to go into and you can just use them now this is a d set just something keep in mind it says vanguard d right there on the, on the top right corner so this is a special set for d and is a festival booster we've had festival boosters in the past type of stuff so we'll have to see exactly what this is but i have two thoughts i really hope this is the first one that kind of talked about this i hope that this is generic staples i really hope that this is more towards that end and it doesn't have to be a lot just a couple but maybe like a generic ride line that you can throw in and out of decks that'd be really cool or maybe strides maybe this could be for the stride deck sets that would be also really cool just generic strides along with maybe some reprints and some other couple minor stuff just something to kind of help add a little bit extra deck building into decks that exist and kind of open up that linearness of the of some decks it doesn't have to be insane i'm not i don't want like you know like 50 different like generic cars that just break every single deck but small would be nice and it would also help the casual players again to be able to build decks without having to strictly focus on specific cards i also think just opening up an extra uh an extra area for like the cray elemental side would be really cool too i think cray elementals are really cool cards i think they're a really cool aspect kind of sucks that the last time we had some it kind of broke the the premium format but overall i thought the idea of them was super cool the genericness of them was super cool i hope that this is a generic approach that isn't broken i hope we get something added to this maybe this will work with the dragon tree stuff i don't really know but i'm really excited to see sort of where they take this i also really like the fact that for divega side they kind of gave this like two week window for them to just be able to actually use these cards and also make that meta super interesting we'll get a first look at sort of what that meta is going to be like along with these cards so that would be kind of cool to see as well but i'm really excited for this i really have no idea what to expect from this but based off the look of them uh it looks like it, it will be used for all nations and all clans so we'll have to see some like i said something gets stride i don't know well i will find out right Next, we have uh, this just says some this is some BT 10 news. This is the booster set 10 stuff. So we got, you know, more of the prayer dragon support coming. Very cool stuff here. So we have the booster pack dedicated for premium MV standard reprints in development, which is actually pretty exciting. I'm really excited to see where this goes. There's going to be some reprints. It's going to be a new set coming out. Kind of interesting. I will say I'm a little sad and I kind of knew this was coming. But, you know, recently we haven't really been getting that much V and premium discussion at all. It's been very standard focused, which is fine that's how it's supposed to be but also means there's a lot less uh you know a lot less work being put into premium and v which i don't know what that means if i'm real with you but you know ever since we've had the last uh coin collection drop it's been really radio silent about v for quite a while now and part of it's just because standard is just like you know the main format but we've just been getting so much news for standard and it's just been like 
radio silence for VNP until like just now. I don't know if the, uh, how are they going to do sets from here on out. You know, we didn't get any announcements for any quick collections at all. It's been very quiet, and I don't. And, and this is this seems to be like a double pack thing where they're going to have P and V in one. We'll have to see. Maybe it'll be new strides. Maybe it'll be a couple new V cards. Maybe it'll be some reprints. A lot of people want VR reprints, which would be nice as well. So we'll have to see if that's what they kind of go towards. Maybe they'll do some generic staple reprints per clan. I don't really know. The thing is, it, it's going to be really hard for them to fit everything in one set if they want to do like multiple stuff. It would be nice. It would be really nice to see some new cards come out of this, but I have a feeling this is going to be like a purely reprint set, but we'll have to see. But what really disappoints me about this is that we got this and that's really it. And I really wanted to see like another year of Quank Collection, but it seems to be like that may not be the case. Uh, based off what I've been seeing for the last couple months, it really feels like Quank Collections might be done. Premium, I think we might still see like the ones we normally see, like the one like the, the ones where I revealed the stride and we had like a full, you know, set with like a bunch of strides and new G guards. I think those will still be a thing, but I don't know if we're going to have any more V sets anymore. I don't know if that was it. Uh, I don't know if we, we, we if we had our a year of enjoyment and that's that's it. And that, that that's just the last of it. I don't know. We'll have to find out. I know for premium, they usually do like every two year blocks type of stuff, but I would like to see more in case they really start like shredding back on V. It would be nice to then see more premium stuff come out. I know we have the stride set deck sets coming out, just like a form of it. I know every overdress set is kind of a form of, you know, also supporting premium, but at the same time, it is nice to just have the format feel fresh without like these small little increments. It would be nice to just see more G guards, see more strides, see more stuff, special mechanics for premium maybe, or additional changes or just anything to kind to keep that format feel more fresh because right now it feel feel pretty dry unless like a ban list happens right like but even through a ban list things things still feel kind of dry where standard is like the one thing that's like constantly changing which like i said it's a good thing and a bad thing some like it this way some want standard to be the main format right so some some would prefer it this way i'm kind of an in-between type of person i like all the formats pretty equally i would say and uh, i like jumping between formats too i don't like staying just on one i i like the the idea of being able to jump back and forth so i don't get bored as easily I I think if I only played standard, I could see myself getting a little bored and also it's pretty costly. But anyway, moving on forward. So we got a little recap here. This is sort of just what to expect. We have the, the new booster set dropping. By the way, this, the, as of like right now, they just announced that this Bruce right here, this little Bruce, like the little baby Bruce right here, uh, the, the official, the official like skill is getting announced pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. That's like dropping in the next couple days. So that's pretty exciting. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so the set's dropping for Japan on, on February 3rd. And then we have the Messiah Stride deck set going up. I'm actually really excited for this. And then we have set 10 being re released. This is at nine, this is at 10. We have that, uh, that festival collection between kind of all of it. And then I don't know exactly what this is. It says online something. So it's either BRO or, um, like Vegas side or just something something online really I don't really know exactly what that is but that's pretty exciting and then last but not least we have the announcements for for anime and it pretty much said that there is nine seasons coming total like so we've had the first four we have five more seasons coming making a total of nine that's actually pretty exciting uh, I was I was uh, I was I was very surprised uh by the expansion of this so this pretty much just defines the fact that Vanguard will 100% be going at least until 2025 which is good that's uh I think that's gonna put it in that almost like like 15 year mark almost it won't exactly be there but it'll be pretty close to that 15 14 year mark and it's very exciting i've been really enjoying the anime so far you know season one was a little rough but two three and four and uh, two and three have been really good so far i haven't watched like what i think an episode dropped i have an uh, eighth it dropped i don't know or maybe a teaser dropped i don't know i haven't watched any of it yet i'm pretty excited it's gonna be in new york um and i'm glad that they just have kind of like a story plot going and i'm really excited to see sort of where they go with this and i've been enjoying the anime um is it my favorite anime in the whole world like no but you know it's it's, it's enjoyable it's watchable i will say season three is actually pretty Intense. I watched it all in one sitting, and watching it all in one sitting made it just a lot more enjoyable for me. Uh, instead of watching it episodically, I watched the first couple episodes episodically, and I was having a lot, a lot less enjoyment. But watching it all, like watching episode five through twelve or whatever the last number is, was actually really good. I really enjoyed it. Like I watched like five. I think I watched like four or five episodes one day, and I watched the other the last bit of it the next day, and I really enjoyed it. Um, going in from like intense to intense to intense to intense, like made it really enjoyable. Uh, so I really liked the third season. I actually might even be my favorite one of the bunch so far. It was the most like to the point one there wasn't really a lot of toss around that season one and two have there's a lot of back and forth in season one and two where you're kind of jumping between different story plots whereas three was just like this is the storyline 
this is what you're getting uh i know a lot of people complain about season three but i actually thought it was very well done i know some fights were missed but i don't think they could fit at all and honestly i'm kind of okay with that like I, sometimes too many fights isn't fun either and i don't want to see every single fight like i, I just don't personally i just don't I, I don't i don't think it's needed but anyway that's all the news it was a lot of stuff to kind of digest but it's a lot of stuff that i'll pretty much be pushing for you know the next uh, the next year pretty much you know a lot of stuff always the next half year pretty much we're gonna get a lot i hope we get some board news i'm really i hope that there'll be more premium v coming out as well i'm really I'm excited for standard i'm excited to build new decks and all this stuff but you know like i'm just in a waiting room for standard and i just want to have another thing to wait for i guess i don't know i'm just weird um uh, i really want to build for all three formats and i'll just be really excited building also you know going into Bruce spring fest and bcs it'd be nice to see what in the world is going to happen i really don't want to see the same formats i hope the format will be changed up i know we had a couple banners here and there but it really doesn't change the formats too much for both p and b right now so hopefully some of these new cards and maybe some of the new stuff dropping will kind of affect that or make some changes and overall i the bet the, the both thing I, the thing i want the most is for casual players and new players be able to enjoy the game and that is my biggest focus out of everything that i've seen so far uh, recently i've been really heavy on hoping that there's just a way to get new players to stay to get in uh to enjoy a, in, at this stage because if you've been playing since set one it's actually a lot easier to build decks but for people playing right now it's actually really hard if they just start like right now and in, in, in mid seat set six set seven set eight it's it's we're in a really weird pickle right now it makes it really hard for new players to enjoy so my biggest thing is i really hope that whatever happens like this here that it helps the new players the most or casual folks that just want to try different decks i really want to see that change I, the competition at the end of the day will not change as much P, if P, competition will, will pick up whatever they need to play it's just how competition is they don't really care as much like they care obviously because it's their wallet but they want to win so they're going to do whatever it takes to win and i'm not saying that they need to you know throw hundreds and hundreds in right like that's not right either of course it'll help them out too but i think just getting newer players and more casual folks into the game is still priority and i would love to see that open up more in this upcoming year to kind of help them out as well this includes deer days as well i really hope that some changes happen to deer days to kind of help push that and i really hope that we see more of that but at the end of the day i'm really excited i hope we see more fun stuff can't wait for more as always if you need anything 50 cards.shop code orange i uh, thank you for enjoying my content uh worlds is coming up soon so get excited for worlds i will be there so yeah get it get excited get excited let's go worlds worlds vanguard very much very hype stuff so other guys Peace out, let's be done, yeah.